and this is the astrological forecast for the sign of Virgo for 2023. It's not going to be too bad a year for the majority of you. Okay. Um, some of you are going to have a difficult year. I'm not going to lie. And some of you are going to have an excellent year and the majority of you are going to have a steady and stable year. So let's have a look and see what's going on and what's not going on. First thing is the annual new moon in Virgo will be on the 15th of September 2023. The full moon in, Le in Virgo will be on the 7th of March. Neither of these moons are anything really significant to write home about. The new moon, oh, they're, they're both nice enough. They're both, there's, there's no, no major challenges here. Mercury will do its retrograde thing in Virgo this year. Mercury will move into Virgo on the 28th of um, July. And then it will stand still and go backwards on the 23rd of August before standing still going forward on the 15th of September and then finally leaving Virgo on the 5th of October. So the um, 28th of July to the 5th of October, 10 weeks, Mercury will be in Virgo. This won't be affecting all of you, obviously, but it will be primarily impacting on those of you born from the 1st to the 15th of September. And if you're one of these people, then during the Mercury retrograde, don't go making any major changes, of course. Don't make any major changes to travel plans. Things won't work out the way you expect. If you're born in the first two weeks of September, then be aware that over the period of basically the last week of Leo, the, the last week of July, um, uh, the last week of July through to mid-September, not a good time for making major choices or decisions. Venus will move into Virgo on the 9th of October. It'll be the morning star and it will leave on the 8th of November. It'll be getting higher and higher in the morning sky. Mars will move into Virgo on the 10th of July through to the 27th of August. Six to seven week journey through Virgo and every single one of you will go through Mars conjunct your sun at this time. So be aware of this and use your energy so that it doesn't use you. When Mars will conjunct your sun, you could easily end up banging or bruising or breaking something, or you could easily end up getting down the gym and, and using your energy in a really creative and productive way. Up to you. The energy will be there. It will use you or you can use it. The outer planets, a couple of them are being a bit of a stinker. Let's deal with them first of all. Neptune. Neptune is going to be finishing its opposition to those of you born around the 16th of September and even the 17th of September. You've had a torrid year. It's been confusing and nebulous and tiring. That energy will clear as you get into February and March of this year. But then Neptune is going to pass opposite the sun of those of you born around the 18th, 19th and 20th of September over this coming year. And if you're one of these people, then be aware that in 2023, you're likely to experience occasional days of fatigue, weariness and tiredness. You'll wake up and you think, I've had eight hours sleep. Right, let's go. Oh, I'm absolutely exhausted. At which point you phone work and you say, I can't come in today. I'm sick. And then you go and have a hot bath and then you go back to bed for the day and you'll be fine the next day. All right. If you fight it, it'll take you out for a week. If you give into it, it will last a day. And this will happen three, four, five times over the coming year. This is what Neptune does. It creates a background energy of weariness, tiredness and fatigue for no apparent reason. Um, it can also lead to a sense of wanting of nebulousness where everything's a bit vague and cloudy. You can't be sure of the authenticity of what's going on around you. It'd be easy for you to be a bit more gullible or easily deceived at this time. So if you're one of these people born on the 18th, 19th of 20th of September, this is not a good year to be getting married or buying a house or signing a 20 year contract at work. 
Saturn starts the year in Aquarius, a sign you've got little in common with, but then it's going to move into Pisces, your opposite sun sign. And over the period of mid-March through to the end of 23, Saturn is definitely going to impact on the lives of those of you born around the 24th to the 30th of August. And if you're one of these people born in August who's a Virgo, then this next year is not a year of major growth and development and expansion. Instead, it's a year of either restriction, limitation, blockage, frustration and circumstances outside your control holding you back. And that's if you fight Saturn and push hard to get ahead. Or if you work with Saturn, it's a year of restructuring, consolidating, establishing, um, doing everything the hard way with no shortcuts, getting your priorities right and putting in place roots and foundations which will then act as the bedrock for the long term future obvious which one to go for but try telling that to most people and they they'll say no I want to do it the easy way and Saturn says no do it the hard way and it's always the best way to do it um Pluto is loving it, being it loving it Pluto is definitely smiling over this coming year on the charts for those of you born around the 21st 22nd 23rd of September if you're one of these Virgos born at the end of Virgo this is a great year for psychological depth, stamina, resilience, determination, perseverance, thoroughness. You're, you'll know yourself ever more. You'll be able to come across as someone who's strong and determined, yet without being confrontational and aggressive. Lovely. Just lovely. Jupiter starts the year in Aries. And then he moves into Taurus. So this is quite healthy for some of you. And those of you born on or before the 7th of September, you're going to find that the second half of the year, there's a low level background energy of, of pretty good growth and development. And, and that this is actually quite nice. No, no problems here. Yeah, healthy. Uranus. Uranus starts the year finishing off the business it's been doing with those of you born around the 8th, 9th, 10th maybe 11th of September. And the changes, the positive changes of 2022 are still going on and will continue until March, April. So make use of this. But then from March, April onwards, Uranus begins to turn his attention to those born around the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, maybe even 16th of September. And if you're one of these people, then this coming year from April onwards is an excellent time for taking advantage of new developments, new opportunities, new potentials and possibilities, anything that invokes the future, anything that invites words like independence, freedom, liberty and stimulus, got to be done, got to be done. You'll be really glad you did. Um, right, there's a few trigger points here. Just a couple. And it's unlike, unusually, it's not the new moons or the full moons or the eclipses. On the 20th and the 21st of July, Mars in the sky in Virgo will be opposite Saturn. And this is, yeah, it's going to be quite a few arguments. There's going to be rushes of blood to the head, car crashes, bumps, bruises, broken bones. There's going to be challenges with authority at this stage and it could affect any of you. So for all of you, please be aware, 19, 20, 21st of July, count to 10. Deliberately choose not to let your buttons get pushed. And then shortly after that, 21, 22, 23 August, Mars still in Virgo, will be opposite Neptune. So this could be a very confusing energy. It can be an energy where nothing's going to make sense, where everything seems as if it's dissolving and slipping around you. And it'd be easy to get angry with other people or with other situations. When the best therapy with Mars Neptune is to sit down and do some nice yoga or to go dancing, to do anything that blends the physical with the spiritual and to, to put the logic on hold for 24 hours. That makes sense. But for all of you, it's not that bad a year. It's only those whose Neptune's hitting who are really under the influence. 
and and that's the 18th 19th 20th group of people and even then it shouldn't be too bad as far as 2023 goes virgo have an industrious and effective year